This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today we have, very similarly to yesterday, eudeos, eudeos, eudeos. Okay? Again, Greek doesn't have a, a, a Y. So, uh, in this case, it's remember, it's a transliteration. It's a, it's a cognate. It's really a loan word from Hebrew, okay? Or maybe, in this case, Aramaic. So, uh, eudeos. It's an adjective. The masculine is eudeos. The feminine is eudea. The neuter is eudeon. Okay? So, it's an adjective. It means Jewish. As a noun, it means Jew. Okay, any adjective can function as a noun. So if it's functioning as an adjective, Jewish. If it's functioning as a, really what we're trying to say is a substantive, it's, a, it's translated as Jew. Okay. Um, let's see, any particular information from BDAG to really consider here? Let's see. Mm, yeah, so generally as description of one who identifies with the beliefs, rites, and customs of adherents of Israel's mosaic and prophetic tradition. The standard term in the Mishnah is Israelite. Since the term Judaism suggests a monolithic entity that fails to take account of the many varieties of thought and social expression associated with such adherents, the calc never seen or heard of that term, or loanword, Judean, is used in this and other entries where Israel is treated, or Israelite. Complicating the semantic problem is the existence side by side of persons who had genealogy on their side, and those who became proselytes. Also of here, of adherents of Moses who recognized Jesus as Messiah and those who did not do so. Incalculable harm has been caused by simply glossing Israelite with Jew. For more readers or auditors of Bible translations do not practice the historical judgment necessary to distinguish between circumstances and events of an ancient time and contemporary ethnic, religious, social realities with the result that anti-Judaism in the modern sense of the term is needlessly fostered through biblical texts. Lovely. Let's get on to the glosses. First, Judeos, pertaining to being Judean, Jewish, with focus on adherence to Mosaic tradition. So Judean as a real adjective, okay? Uh, two, one who is Judean or Jewish with focus on adherence to Mosaic tradition. A Judean. Okay, so it's functioning as a noun. Hmm. I think I misread. I think I misread the uh, opening paragraph of this of this text. To be quite honest, because uh, I, I was taking the abbreviated. Yoda with a smooth breather and saying Israelite because of the reference from the Mishnah. But I really think it's Judeos is treated as Jew rather than Judean, which is culpable in the anti-Judaism 
that's needlessly fostered through biblical texts. So in these cases, one and two, it's Judean, not Jew. Let's see, so Jusilla, Judeans, Hellenes, Proselytes. Judeans for the most part, those who in various degrees identify with Jesus and his teaching. That's really it. So, we're not going to, based on BDAG, we're not going to translate it Jew, but rather Judean. And Jewish, uh, Judean, Judean, it's either Judean or a Judean. Judean, if it's an adjective, a Judean, if it's a noun. I think that's something to be really cognizant of. Um, we don't want our translations to allow anachronisms. Things that we end up scripture twisting or looking into the text. Eisegesis. It's sometimes referred to, rather than exegesis, where you draw it out, eisegesis is putting in, and we don't want to do that. We want, we want Scripture to speak for itself, but it's hard. There's a fine line, because when you translate, all translation is interpretation. So word choice matters. You are making decisions on behalf of the future readers. We need to be cognizant of that, and I think this is a good example of what the struggle is like. And it's not an easy task. So that's something to be cognizant of. Not something that we should shy away from. It shouldn't discourage us from the translation process. But again, be cognizant of it. And so that's today's Greek word of the day. Judeos means Judean. Now, come back again tomorrow and we'll have another one for you then. Bye-bye.